it's Cup of Crown. Good evening, and uh, welcome to me in the comfort of my own home, and my own bed, and my own bedroom. Surrounded by stuffed animals and all kinds of mess here that I don't want to clean up because I'm struggling with depression, and I probably use it as an excuse, but it's actually true. So, um, I mean, I'm really not depressed. I mean, there's like, I have two different kinds of depression. I have a depression when I'm not depressed, and I. Like, I don't cry, but I'm depressed. And then I have another, and I don't know, it's just my depression. Like, you want to know about my depression. It's like a song. <laughs> my depression. You don't want to know about my depression. <laughs> so, I've had the most craziest last few weeks and month. Good things, bad things happen. Lots of good things. Good, uh, bad things, too. I had a suicidal moment. Um, I came very this close to killing myself. And I've... I, oh, gosh. Why? I, I've been on my meds, that's why. But I'm... I'm actually really glad that it's over with. I'm glad that I didn't do it. And I've had so many people tell me, why are you suicidal? Why are you start getting suicidal? Because you've done it before. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just like, if you were depressed the way I was, you would be suicidal too. Trust me. Um, I'll take these glasses off to hurt my nose. They all look good in them. My eyes are all puffy. Nope, this is back on. <laughs> oh, eyes. Or tearing up the night. I'm not crying. I'm just tearing up. Uh, I've been watching a six million dollar man. Uh, this is like interesting uh, because first off, the characters talk in a very monotone voice. They like they don't know. They don't realize they're acting like they're middle school actors. Like, like, uh, hello. It's good to see you again. It's been a long time since I've seen you. How come we never talk anymore? <laughs> it's like, because of the way you talk, that's why we don't talk anymore. <laughs> if you if you come around me, it'd be boring. No, we don't talk anymore for a damn good reason. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like boring people. I'm actually kind of boring myself, but actually, I'm hilarious to myself. I don't know about y'all, but probably. Um, so... Wow, um, good things happening. Well, let's start. Because uh, I guess this me saying the good things happening is a declaration of the other good things that are going to be happening soon. And I know they're happening soon. Uh, huh. If they don't happen soon, I'm going to make them happen soon. One way or another, they're going to happen. So. <laughs> um, so, I guess should we start with the bad first and then the good? So, the bad was a suicidal thing. And I almost swallowed some pills. I made a whole... And I just don't really want to talk about it, but I should. Anyways, I'm in a whole bottle full of four or five different bottles of pills. And where did I get them? Well, my mother-in-law left them in the house for me. So, yeah. I mean, she didn't leave them for me, but, you know what I mean? I just, she left them there. And she passed away, and then uh, my father-in-law left them there when he passed away. So, yeah. I've tried to air out his dirty laundry on Facebook. It has not been such a good thing so far for some people that um, are friends of mine and didn't want their kids to see all the disgusting things he was into and all the things that I found out about him that just, oh, Had I known a long time ago, could have put a stop to a lot of the stuff he did. I don't know if I could have, but I could at least try to. It's awful because of it. And because of him, my husband has suffered um, sexual abuse, which he didn't even know he had or had gone through. And I know he has for reasons I won't speak of. Um, he suffered, uh, you know, physical abuse because of his father because he was an alcoholic and if anyone's ever been raised around alcoholics I was raised by alcoholics well my stepdad was an alcoholic at one point but he never got angry with me he never did anything to me like most alcoholics do 
Um, my mom started to get angry with me, but she never abused me when she was an alcoholic, but she abused me when she was sober, so that's another story. But then again, her parents were, uh, her not her parents, but her father was abusive to her, so this is, this is the cycle of abuse that people don't realize, is that it comes from generation to generation to generation that, you know, and, and I feel like I have that abuse too, and so I have to be careful because of it's a generational curse and it's of abuse and I, I'm gonna have to break that because it's not a good thing for me to have I don't want to end up in prison or jail because of it so you know thankfully I have oh well, I won't say anything thankfully I have thankfully I have <laughs> um I guess should I air the secrets okay so at this point Whoever's watching, uh, if you're a children, please stop watching because this is not for children. This is for adults only. Okay, so this is going to get a bit rated R and rated X. Uh, well, there will be no porn here, but just so you know, <laughs> I don't do that kind of thing on YouTube. <laughs> Says YouTube doesn't allow it anyway. So, I mean, I don't know. There's some things that are close enough to porn on YouTube, but. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so please, uh, 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 parents, if you're watching your children watch this, please don't let them continue to listen to what's about to be said, uh, because you're, they're going to question you about it, and you don't want to answer these kind of questions. Trust me on this one. So let's begin. Hopefully you guys aren't watching this, and if you are, I'm not responsible because I did give a warning. I did give a parental warning, you guys, so, uh, don't try to sue me. Because I gave a warning. It's a legal thing. And trust me. That's part of one of the good things that's about to happen in my life. So, anyways. Um, so, um, I'm going with bad things. Uh, we were in eviction court. That's a good thing, though. Uh, we went to pro uh, probate court. That's a good thing. Uh, but didn't seem to come out very good in the end. We were, have been harassed by my husband's aunt and uncle's lawyer who says, who claims that we are being harassed and I hope that he sees this video because you are harassing us. Yeah, this is probably not, not good for me to post stuff like this, but you know, I'm stressed out. I have to let it out some way. So, you know, they're to blame for all my stress. So, and my depression, so, you know. Anyway, so, uh, I'm not going to say anything more about that, that what's going on with that, besides the fact that the eviction was dismissed. I can't speak any more about that because I have reason to believe they're watching me, they're watching this house, or they have cameras in the house. It, it, is so screwed up and dysfunctional. They just need Yeshua, who is Jesus, and they stop. They need to leave us alone and quit harassing us and treating us the way they have. And it's just, why would you do that to somebody? I've harassed people. I understand that, but uh, but it causes stress. And I've seen my stress cause things that I never wanted them to cause. So, and it was not only just my stress, it was someone else's stress too, but still, I, you know, I felt responsible. And so, from coming from that standpoint, you can't, what if your stress caused someone to kill themselves? Which, which it almost did for me. It almost did. So, which is, this needs to be brought up in court, so thanks for the reminder. Or what if your stress caused someone to to pull a gun on someone or to kill someone you, you think about that you think that people want to go to jail or die because they killed themselves after it you, I mean think about what you're doing really I just bullying is one of my number one things I hate it I hate it I hate it it has destroyed so many lives and I don't just mean children being bullied I mean adults being bullied bullying is the worst thing on this earth next to Satan because he is the worst thing. And he is on the surface, unfortunately. Somewhat, to an extent. <laughs> Anyways, um. 
So I guess I had a lot of fights with my husband. That's the bad. Uh, I'm trying to think of what all is the bad. Um, I shouldn't really be discussing things about my husband on here. But you guys probably already know what's going on. So, And he doesn't watch my channel, so that's good. But I also have figured out a way to get him to stop hitting me. And maybe, maybe not anybody will, will, will believe me on this. But I prayed for a sermon about abuse. When I went to church Sunday, Sunday morning I prayed for it before my pastor came to pick me up. I came to church and I got what I wanted. I got a sermon about it. It was called The Overcomer. The Overcomer's uh, something, something. The Overcomer's Victory. I think that's what it was called. And um, taught me this. To use the armor of God. Once you have that armor of God on, nobody can hurt you. Nobody can physically hurt you when the armor of God is on. And now people will question that and go, well, what if they try to kill you? And you know, this, 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 this. Because if they try to kill you, come on, no weapon formed against you. It's in the Bible. Put the armor of God on. Don't question your faith. Don't doubt your faith in God. Just do it. Like it says in the Nike commercial. <laughs> Just do it. Just put the armor of God on. And it has helped me. Because the many times I put it on, and my husband would get in a fight with me, and it seemed like he was going to start to abuse me, he never did. He never did. Because of the armor of God. You see the protection that it provides you if you put it on? I mean, I've seen it work. I've seen miracles work, too. I've seen miracles, real life miracles. And it... I, my eyesight, I, I see my, my, I'm blind in my left eye, I've seen my eyesight, um, almost come back. It hasn't, didn't come back fully, but it was trying to come back, and, um, I think maybe because of the fact that I really don't want it to come back, <laughs> like, because I feel like it's gonna be weird. <laughs> so, anyways, that's another story. Um, good things, I guess the story down with the bad, uh, so good things, um, I am gonna try, I'm gonna try to become a lawyer at some point, maybe get some jobs being a paralegal, uh, that's about that, um, let's see, what else, good things, that's one thing that's going to be coming very soon, and, uh, lots of other businesses and business ideas that are coming very soon, I have a lot of problems with my taxes here lately, but thank God I got my paycheck coming that I haven't had in, in 90 days or more. So thank God, I thank God I'm getting that. And my W two. Well, she thanked the girl that that I talked to, that I, I yelled at and said you can't withhold my pay. Uh, got fired. Cause I think the boss figured out what she was doing because he he could hear the phone calls from where he is and he figured out what he was doing and he was losing her business. So you know, and she she was losing his him business, but yeah, well, you know what I mean. But um lack of sleep again so I'll be right I'll be back on track eventually I'm trying um, I'm getting eight hours of sleep at least every day at least um, been eating a lot of rice and beans lately because we're broke <laughs> I'm, I'm actually I'm bragging about being broke everybody's always like like think it's like funny to make fun of being broke but I like to brag about it like like people like to brag about being rich I brag about being broke because like come on now it's called being humble you know it's also called not wanting to be broke but <laughs> all right so I'm gonna end this vlog um I hope you guys enjoyed the intro I posted it in the video so I hope you see that it's pretty awesome my husband helped me make it um he helped me design it um so, I'm going to try to use that more often from now on. Um, I'm going to make more videos. I stop making videos. And I go back to making them again. I just get busy doing other stuff and whatnot. And so, but even though my life is boring sometimes from day to day, I'm, I'm always busy doing stuff. I'm playing games on my phone. Or I'm writing a sermon. Or writing a story. And who knows what I'm doing nah, day, day, day to day. Who knows? So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Hitting that subscribe button that is over here somewhere. And um, uh, if you haven't already liked this video, please go ahead and do so. That would be great. Um, if you want to see more videos like this one, I make videos whenever I want to. <laughs> so hit that subscription button to be notified of when I make videos. So you don't have to be wondering why. Oh, now she made a video. So um, 
Peace and chicken grease. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed and wonderful day. And bye-bye.